Hey, what's up, guys? It's Epically Noob with you guys again. And, well, today, I just want to show you guys something because I did not realize how I got S for this stage on auto. But, yes, as I've mentioned, I've got S on auto. So, I never really took notice. But, I guess today we will find out how the hell I got S. So, er. Uh, I'm not too sure what I should even comment on this video actually but I guess I should say something I mean if not it would be pretty damn boring so if you were to put the whole thing on auto basically it will just only attack uh, Kron and not the minions so especially when you talk about the second stage and the last stage uh, where they drop uh, the where the minions drop those uh, detonating thingies that kill your guys in one hit kind of thingy you, you know what I mean yeah yeah you do okay that's very good so yeah they, they drop that kind of thing and ultimately they kill your guys without even betting an eye so in other words how the hell did I get auto how the hell did I get past that de that detonate thingy so this is where we find out so for the first stage it seems like uh, it's very not optimal because Tamarine should use S3 before she goes into Kron uh, but she uses S3 in the midst of the whole thing, wasting two turns. Which, I mean, it's fine. I'm, I'm just testing it out. But, yeah, I mean, I did all the towers on auto anyways. So it's more of an experimentation right now. Okay, so it seems like Bologna is able to kill the front line for the second stage. I'm not too sure about the first stage though. That one we can only find out later on. So defense down drops pretty easily. The S3 for Kron comes in. And yikes. Okay, that did not do too much. That's fine. Uh, for this stage, the minion stuns. So it can kind of cuck my whole round. As long as it stuns Tamarine and Tamarine dies, then basically the whole thing ends. But it seems like everything seems to be okay. Ooh, ouch, okay. So this is where you proc. And this is where they die. I see, I see. Okay. So here comes my S3. Thus, okay amounts of damage. It's not really a lot actually. I think the majority of the damage will actually come from Luna. I think. So no defense down. Minor heals for Luna. Defense down prox and Luna comes in with a miss. Well, that sucks. And the S1. Mm -hmm. And here comes my Tamarine with the attack up boost. Okay. Oh, okay, that's quite a good amount of damage. And here comes the counter attack. Boom, boom, boom. 7,000, very nice amounts of attack. Tamarine is a vegetable. And Luna comes in. Mm hmm. Okay, double attack. Then here comes my counter again. And the front line is dead. Oh wait, what? There's one guy alive. Here comes my heals. Oh, I see. So I will still be alive as long as my Tamarin is able to heal. Uh... Or my Tamarin is able to not get stunned twice in a row. So if I get twice in a row, might be pretty bad. Might 
I might get myself into a little bit of trouble, which can be a little bit annoying. And here comes my second round. And let's see the burst. Oh, Tamarine did it earlier on, which is good. That's a good thing. But I still wasted a turn because it's still within the battle. Within the stun phase. So that's the downside of that. And still stuck like a vegetable. That's good. Ah, oh, nice amounts of damage. It's going to come out of it very soon in one more hit. Oh, nice dual attack. Very timely. And this is just going to be a waste. And here we are. Okay. Mm, so this is the stage we want to take note of. Like how the hell did I auto this part? Defense down, I see. And these guys will take him quite a lot. Oh, I see. So basically, it procs my Bologna quite a lot of times. So that's how they die. Here comes another one. And this time, they all die, I think. Except for the last one, I think. Hmm, yep. Except for the last one. I see. So that's how it plays out. Okay. So now I understand how I stayed alive. So that means it's literally, literally just a weight battle. Okay, so that means it's gonna take a while before this whole entire thing ends. This Kron has quite a bit of HP. If I had Daydream, it'd be a lot faster, but I did not put any Daydream, so I'm slowly sitting here dreaming. Okay, so here comes the second round of the minions. And uh, one defense down. Kieran's on defense down. So I'm going to push up Bologna. Is Bologna going to... Uh, nope, no S3. And here comes the S2 for Bologna. Nice. So one is dead. And here comes the second S2. And all of them are dead. Nice, okay. Bologna is really surprisingly really good here. So that means that having Bologna in the team will be able to help you to auto the whole entire stage. Easy peasy. But of course you need some AoE, some other AoE just to make it more stable. Because the first run that I made is only 700,000 using the same team. So meaning that uh, probably the frontliner got stunned twice. Yeah, so that means I need to be able to kill the minions a lot faster. And this is the end of K-Ron. So that's how I got it. 7,000, 700,000 and I got an S. I am NS. Alright, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao! Holy shit, it's a 10 minute video.